Okay, in this video we're going to look at how we could add more digital I.O. to the Arduino Uno. Now normally the amount of I.O. lines on the Arduino Uno is adequate for most of the projects we encounter, but then along comes that big project and we need lots of GPIO and the Uno comes up short. So what can we do? Uh, here's one solution I've used. Okay, here's a little shield for the Arduino Uno and basically it's a little expansion board. So with this board you could add on 24 more digital IOs to the UNO. And the UNO talks to this board through the SPI port where it could read or write to any one of the 24 digital IOs. And external access to the 24 IOs is through this this IDC header on the side, this 50 pin IDC header. Now the original IOs on the UNO are still available through this header here. Now if you need more than 24 IOs, you could actually stack another board on top. But you need a board select, and that's where this little jumper array comes in here. So you would sign one of the pins on the UNO to select or deselect this board. In this case it's jumpered for pin 10. So pin 10 would enable or disable this board. Now on the second board that you stack on top, you could sign assign pin 11 to that board, and pin 11 would, would enable or disable the second board, and you could keep stacking boards. Now this little 50 pin IDC header on the side is compatible to third party interface boards which we'll have a look at. Okay, here's an interface board that is compatible to the Arduino Uno IO expansion shield which we saw in the last clip. Now the two are connected together with a 50 conductor ribbon cable similar to this and you can see the connector on the left hand side of the board. That's your 50 pin connector. Now this board is capable of 16 slots for 16 I.O. modules and these boards come in different sizes. You could get a 4 slot, an 8 slot, a 16 or a 24. So you would attach the desired module to this board and the module will be controlled through that 50 pin conductor back to the UNO and connections to the outside world would be through the terminal strip on the top. Okay, here's some I.O. modules that are compatible to the interface board. And here we see a standard AC output module for driving AC loads with a voltage range of 12 volts to 280 volts. Also, there's an AC input module for monitoring AC voltages, say in industrial applications for monitoring, say, a limit switch. And then there's a DC modules. Now this DC input module is for monitoring uh, DC voltages and also a DC output module for driving DC loads from a range of 5 volts to 200 volts. Now you can mix and match these modules and they're all opto-isolated so there's no chance of any back voltages getting into the Arduino Uno. Okay, for troubleshooting and testing your code or just to break out the 24 I.O. lines from the expansion board you can use a little interface like this. Now this is a little 50 pin to breadboard interface and that plugs into the 50 pin IDC on an expansion board and that will give you access to all 24 I.O. lines along this header here which could be jumpered over to this breadboard where you could build your custom circuits for testing.